On this episode of Retro Car Guy 530, I'm going to show you how to connect two microphones at the same time to the same video camera. The culture mount that I'm using is from Ulanzi, the PT-2. That allows you to put the microphone or the microphone receiver on the top of the camera. And then the audio connection is being accomplished by the TRS splitter cable from Rode, the SC11. And later on in the video, I'll show you how to import those video files into Adobe Premiere Pro 2020, and then split the left and right channels into separate audio tracks. Let's get into it. When recording a video, you might find yourself in a situation that having a second microphone would give you that extra clear, crisp audio that you were trying to get, but you only have one microphone jack on your camera. So how do you connect a second microphone? Is it even possible? It is, and you can do it with a TRS cable splitter. Now, assuming that your microphones are TRS connected, the cable uh, is a TRS version instead of the TRRS. And if you have a TRRS, make sure you get a, a converter from TRRS to TRS to use this particular splitter cable. And then you might also need a barrel connector, which I have here an example of, where if you have a male connection from your microphone and you need to then connect to the splitter cable, you might need to use this to connect the two of them together. But with those connected, you have the audio coming in and a red cable from the splitter cable seems to be the right channel based on my testing we'll show you here in a little bit and the black cable seems to be the left but how do you get them mounted on your camera i have a hot shoe mount on the top of my camera but i'm using it as a cold shoe mount with this particular uh, lanzi pt2 see if i can get that a little bit clearer there and i'm mounting that on the top of the camera then i have my rode video mic pro plus on this side of the cold shoe mount here and then i have my rode wireless go receiver on this side those are my two microphone inputs to the camera so i have the red going to the wireless go and the black going to the video mic pro plus and then this cable the 3.5 millimeter gets connected to the 3.5 millimeter jack on the camera itself and with that all connected i'm able to record a video with the red cable seeming to supply the right channel input primarily and the black cable supplying the left channel. So we'll go through and I'll show you some examples of that. So let's get into that now. In this example, I'm using Adobe Premiere Pro 2020 on Windows and I'm gonna show you two things in this video segment. First off, the use of the Rode SC11 TRS cable splitter, which is used to bring in two microphone audio inputs into your recording session and two, how to take that single audio clip and split it into two audio clips, one with the left channel being the source for it and one with the right channel being the source for it. First off, let's bring in the five video files that I've imported from my Canon M50 camera. And there's a variations of the tests that I'm running here to show you what the black and red cables infer as far as left or right channels. And let's bring them in when both microphones are connected. The Video Mac Pro Plus is only connected on the black cable, and then the Wireless Go is connected to the black and then the red cable uh, in various uh, test situations. And then I have one here with the Rode Video Mac Pro Plus connected, where it's connected directly to the camera without using the Rode SC11. And it's a situation where I'm using a feature on that particular microphone to boost the left audio channel by plus 20 dB, which is another scenario where you might want to split that left channel into an, its own audio clip and the right channel into its own audio clip. So let's bring these over to the timeline. And we can see that there is only one audio clip by default when you import them into Adobe Premiere Pro. With a, There's a left and right channel, it's a stereo configuration. That's what you'll see as you import it. And I've dragged the height of the audio one clip to show both left and right channels here. And you can see that on the clip that or in the clip that has both microphones connected, we, we do see left and right, but the right seems to be a little bit more dominant. Now in most of these tests, the black cable from the splitter is connected to the Rode Video Mic Pro Plus, and the red cable is connected to the Wireless Go, Rode Wireless Go receiver. So in this case, the right channel seems to be a little bit higher level than the left channel. This particular video file, I have it where the Video Mic Pro Plus is connected only. The red cable is disconnected from the Wireless Go receiver, and you can see that the left channel is more dominant. There is a bleed over to the right, but it's primarily on the left channel there. And then we have the wireless go connected red only. The black cable is disconnected altogether. And the red, the red cable seems to infer the right channel is the 
primary input on that particular connection. And then I reversed the situation here where I had the wireless go connected, but only to the black cable and the red cable was disconnected altogether. And you can see that the left channel was more dominant in that particular case. And then here's the example of the Rode Video Mic Pro Plus connected directly to the camera without the SC11 involved. And the left channel is at much higher output level or DB level than the right channel. And then splitting that into its own audio clip would be a beneficial thing for editing. So let's listen to this uh, with both microphones connected. The first one, the red cable is connected to the Rode Wireless Go receiver. You can see that the right channel was more elevated as far as the DB level. And that's with the microphone covered on the Wireless Go. So here's with the Wireless Go as well. So both microphones are receiving my voice at this point in time. So the clarity is much better. Of course, it's much closer to the source of the audio and my, my mouth in this particular case. Let's move up to this file here. And this is with the Video Mic Pro Plus only connected to the black cable of the splitter. In this test, I have the splitter cable disconnected from the Wireless Go receiver it is only connected. We can see that the left channel has a higher dB level than the right channel. And again, the red cable was dis disconnected from the wireless go at that point in time. Now, if we move on to the next one, this is the wireless go is connected only. The black cable has been removed from the Video Mic Pro Plus, and you'll see that the right channel is more dominant here. In this test, I have disconnected the black cable from the Rode Video Mic Pro Plus. And then I reversed the test case where I connected the black cable only to the wireless go receiver. I now have the Rode Wireless Go receiver connected to the black cable from the... So in that case, the left channel was more dominant. So it seems to follow that the black cable from the splitter seems to supply mainly to the left channel, and the red cable seems to supply mainly to the right channel. And then down here, we have the Video Mic Pro Plus, again, connected directly to the Canon M50. And you can see that the left channel is boosted far above the right channel because of the feature within the microphone itself. In this test configuration, I have removed the Rode SC11 2 microphone cable splitter. So it's nice to be able to have that boosted level, but it could clip at some point where the audio is boosted too much. So having the unboosted channel is, is a great thing to have, and you might want to split that into its own clip. So now let's go to the point of modifying the audio, the video clips here with uh, audio modification and then bring them into the timeline again. Before we move on, I wanted to address the channel bleed over from the left and right channel that I was seeing earlier when this was connected to my Canon M50 camera. This is with a GoPro Hero 7 Black with the same Rode SC11 splitter cable used. And the first one here is with the black cable connected to the Rode VideoMic Pro. And then the second section here is with the red cable only connected to the Rode Wireless Go. And then the last section is with both of them connected. So there appears to be some preamp bleed over in the Canon M50. So if you were curious about that bleed over before, it's not from the cables. It's something that I've seen in my Canon M50. So on to the next part of the video. I'm now going to show you how in Adobe Premiere Pro, you can modify the audio properties of the video files you've imported so that the left and right channels will be utilized as separate audio tracks within or audio clips within your editing session. So I'm gonna select these files again. They can be done in bulk like this. And I'm going to go up to Clip, Modify, Audio Channels. And by default, it's the preset is you use file. It's a stereo in, uh, audio track with left and right channels. And there's only one audio clip generated from this. And the clip has left and right source from the, the raw left and right channels in the audio clip within the video file. So I'm going to modify this, but I've already set a preset. So I'm going to click this and select two mono audio clips. Now this is using the clip channel format of mono, since I want the left and right of the new audio clip to be the same, from, sourced from the same raw audio channel. And then there's going to be two audio clips generated. And then clip one will come from channel one of the input video file, and it'll be the left audio channel. And clip two will be from channel one of the raw audio file. 
or the wrong video clip audio track, and it'll be the right audio channel. So when I click on OK, we don't see any difference over here in the Project File Explorer, but when we drag these over to the timeline, we now see that we have two audio clips or tracks here, and then they've been split into their own, and each one of these is a mono clip, so it's even on the left and right side. Now if you want to, let's say, let's uh, mute that and then begin playback. You can see that the left and right are balanced the and they're coming from the unmuted splitter, one here. Connected to and if you wanted to edit these, you could then modify the segment here and then unlink them and then remove one. And they would just, you wouldn't have to mute at that point. So you can select which particular audio clip you wish to use while editing your video file. The first one, the red cable is connected to the Rode Wireless Go receiver. And you can then see here that the dominant left channel from that video Mic Pro Plus with the black cable connected only is here. And then the right channel, which is far lower level. And then it looks a little closer here on the Wireless Go with the red cable connected. A little more spread here when the black cable is connected on the uh, Wireless Go. And then, of course, the boosted levels from the Video Mic Pro Plus with the boosted level. You can see that the left ch channel, which is now the Audio One clip source, is much higher. So if you wanted to simply use that one, again, you'd go to unlink it. And you could clear out that particular one and just use the one here. The SC11 two microphone cable splitter. I've reconnected. So that's how you go through uh, in Adobe Premiere Pro to modify the clip properties. Again, you select the clip, go to clip, and then I guess I need to select them again since I'm not over here. So go, you select the video file in the Project Explorer and clip, modify, audio channels, and then as we've already modified it, it shows it, and then you can set the audio properties to however many channels you want to split it into, one or two, or ignore one of them. It depends on what your preferences are for your video editing session. In summary, the things I've demonstrated in this video are the fact that you can connect two microphones to one video camera using a splitter cable. Secondly, I demonstrate the fact you can mount multiple microphones if you have a way of using a cold shoe mount on your camera. In this particular case, I used the Yulanzi PT-2 cold shoe mount to have that bracket up on the top of the camera. In the three, I demonstrated the ability to split the left and right audio channels from the one clip, that audio clip that comes in when you import it into Adobe Premiere Pro. And I showed you how to split that out so that the left channel is the first clip and then the right channel is the second clip. That way you can edit both of them independently. It makes it much easier to edit the video you're working on. So with that, hopefully the information I provided is helpful to you. And if you found it helpful, make sure you hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Make sure you hit the bell notification to be notified when I upload new videos like this one to the channel. And if there's any links down in the description section related to the products that are labeled as affiliate links or using anything, purchase anything from my Amazon influencer store, I will make a commission, but at no extra cost to you. And it's a great way of supporting the channel. Hopefully you found the information beneficial and come back to the channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one.